Well, there you go, guys. Look at all that global warming floating down the river. Man, that's a lot of global warming, huh? Son of a bitch. Yeah, we got ice forming on the river already. That river's pretty high, too. Look across there. You can see the stages. It's pretty high. Pretty high. But yeah, we got ourselves some global warming floating down the river here. Ladies and gentlemen, global warming. I'll tell you what contributes to my global warming. Ah, a nice hot coffee cuppy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Don't get much better than that. Let's throw this lid on here. All right. Let's go out to the garage before we make our way out there, guys. Yeah, you can see. A lot of that snow melted. Not no more. Ooh, it's cold out here. Let's get in here. real global warming right there yeah buddy hell yeah anyway guys uh, let me get this turned off here and we'll get to making a video alrighty guys before we go any further I just want to state this is going to be a longer video than usual I have a lot of really cool stuff I got some mail calls and shout outs that I want to do so um, it's gonna be a little bit longer than normal uh, I'll try to keep it brief for you guys, but you know what sometimes when you get really cool stuff You want to give really cool shout outs. So anyway before we get into that guys uh, Let me just update you guys here really quick on the weather uh, Around here this weekend. They're calling for snow. They don't know how much uh, Some reports I've heard up to 16 inches of snow But though don't don't if you Keith Rooney don't don't listen to me just yet because I nothing's been confirmed. Uh, but we're definitely going to be getting some snow. I've also heard as little as three to six inches. So we'll see what happens. It's also going to be brutally, brutally fucking cold next week. They're talking highs five above zero. Lows about three to five below zero. That's fucking crazy this time of the year. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm, I, I mean, I'm ready for it, but I'm not ready for it. You know what I'm saying? Um... Right now in the garage, thanks to the heat, I got it up to a whopping 40, 44, 45 degrees or so. Yeah, yeah buddy, we're still stuck on June, it's gonna stay there. So anyway, let me give you a little update here on the, on the tractor here guys, on the plow. Uh, you guys saw that I had a little bit of a failure. Let me first also say guys, this plow here, this was amazing. Okay, when the plow didn't fall off, the tractor pushed this stuff, that snow that we got, that snow that we got was insanely wet and heavy. When I was out driving around on Sunday morning, I was watching people uh, use snowblowers. And snowblowers were just getting lodged up. My old snowblower would have gotten logged up. Uh, this thing here, no problem. I did adjust the tension on the springs here, you guys can see. I adjusted the tension on the springs. Now this fucker barely moves. It moves. I can't even really get it to move right now, but it moves. But let me show you here what else I can do with this plow. <sighs> and I probably shouldn't keep it back here. But anyway, if I put this bar, if I put this, this rod right in here, okay, there's a hole right there too that it goes into. If I put it there, it turns it into a dozer blade. I know a lot of you guys had said that, you know, I could probably put some spring or some chain or something like that. I could probably throw a chain from here to, like, say, this piece right there or something like that. Or somewhere in there um, to prevent it from completely tipping down. But I think adjusting those springs is going to be just the ticket. I really do. So in worst case scenario, like I said, I'll just throw this rod in there and just turn it into a, into a dozer blade. Um... Here's the manual for it right there. So I can I can adjust, I can do that too if I need to. I don't like to do that because, as you guys know, this thing here got all messed up. This is the side that Andy's, that, uh, Andy's nephew welded up for me. And uh, it's holding up well and that thing comes out and what I was gonna do is I was gonna drill a hole in here. Whoop. I was gonna drill a hole in here 
throw a washer on and then put a cotter pin in there like a um one of not a cotter pin but you know what i'm talking about uh, a hitch pin and i was going to do the same on this side because this is the side that's been popping out on me you can see there's not a lot of room there though it's not in there far enough it's not out far enough and i can't really get it to come out anymore without taking this whole plow off and i'm not going to do that now it's too late in the season i wish i would have known that before uh you can see i don't know if that shows but that's pretty bent up that's another reason why i don't want to put that dozer blade on there because or that thing on there because you know my driveway is really 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 just a funky driveway um we got those railroad ties that like trim out our driveway i guess you can say and the problem is the driveway settles and when you're plowing you hit those you don't necessarily see those and i could put those stakes in the ground uh but what i like to do is because of the fact that i know where the driveway is sometimes what i'll do is when i make my first plow i'll actually plow the top of those and then that way i know where they're at and when i get up to it i just lift the, the lift the blade a little bit and kind of go over it um so that's what i'm gonna have to do i'm just gonna have to be a little bit more careful this year uh, when doing that but anyway guys uh so we talked about the tractor i got that going on the weather is shitty the weather is really shitty not gonna lie guys i'm not gonna lie not a lot of time spent out here in the garage i got the propane heater but when those winds come whipping through man and we've had some nasty winds i know mr john deere whatever up there in north dakota got hit with some pretty bad snow i believe you're up in north dakota i don't even remember anymore uh, i know you got hit with some pretty big snows guys it's here I mean, it's here. It's The weather is shitty. I'm just hoping that, I mean, we're only in the beginning of December. It's going to be a long year. So, anyway, guys, I want to get on to these mail calls because they're very cool. Um, two of them, I don't even know who they are. And uh, the third one, or the, four, the, the two other ones, I do know who they are. So, I'm going to save the two that I do know for, for last. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to set you guys up and we're going to get to some mail. Alrighty guys, sit down. I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee cuppy. Oh, you damn right, that's some global warming. Holy hot, that's hot. Wow. Whew. Alright. Let's open up my little Cornwell tools. Little pocket knife. Just a little rinky dink thing. It's a great letter opener. I don't want to use my good knives for this. I actually got a buddy who, uh, a really good friend of mine on here, who sent me a Spyderco. Uh, my very first Spyderco knife. Maybe sometime I'll do a little review on that knife. I like Spyderco knives. I also like the Kershaws. Anyway, this one here, this letter here comes from Australia. I believe it's Australia. Yeah, it's Australia. I never know. And let's see if we can get it opened up. And I, I don't want to say his name on here. Oh, it's Chopper's Rule. It's Chopper's Rule. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Friggin' rights. Chopper's Rule. Yeah, buddy. Go check him out. I'm going to put a link to these channels below, too, guys. Go check him out. And uh, on the back of it, he wrote... MBYR31. Hi, mate. Thanks for watching my videos. I hope you like the sticker. Keep your great videos coming. Have a great day. Hello from Australia. Chopper's Rule 1. He wrote me a little note on the back. Very cool. Thank you so much, buddy. I really do appreciate this. And I know I got to get my stickers out. Guys, I have to get my stickers out. I just. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really overwhelmed lately. It's just. They're coming. Okay, they're coming. So anyway, big shout out to Chopper's Rule 1. Go check him out. He's got some really good videos. I have to be honest, I have not really been like keeping up with a lot of people lately. Um, uh, especially the new guys. I just recently subscribed to him, and I think he just recently subscribed to me. So we're, 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 um, we're still in the new phase here, guys. And as time goes on, you'll see more. Or I'll be I'll be on more. Okay, this one here I don't know who this is. It comes from Massachusetts, and we shall get it open. Let's see who this is. Oh, 
this is a. Uh, I think this is EDC Adventures. He just says Kevin. Well, I know who this is. I don't know his username, and he doesn't have his username anywhere on here. That's crazy. Why wouldn't you put your username? Okay, well, his name is Kevin. I believe it's EDC Adventures. I'm not 100% sure. There's his sticker. It doesn't even have his username on the sticker, but yeah. You know I gotta have a sticker like that, right? I'm surprised I don't have a sticker like that. God, Lord only knows I'm always out by fires. Even in the winter, boys and girls, I will be having a fire. And that kind of leads me to where my channel, the direction my channel is going to be going here shortly. Um, I'm going to be doing, as soon as I gather up enough stuff, it's going to take a little time, but as soon as I start gathering up enough stuff, my channel direction is pretty much going to go, is going to start going an outdoor direction. It'll help with this too. But anyway, I believe it's EDC Adventures. If I'm, if I'm wrong, I will put the username here now. And uh, I will I will be sure to um, be sure to uh, put a link to his channel below also. So go check him out. Really cool, really cool people. Now these next two come from people I already know, and I just want to say for disclaimer purposes here, guys, please don't send me anything. I don't do Christmas cards. I don't do stuff like that. I, I think it's just something that I just I've never really gotten into. Um, it's, it's not, it's not me being rude, maybe, maybe some people misconstrue it as rude, but don't misconstrue it as rude. It's just, I, I've never given out Christmas cards. I've, I never send out Christmas, I don't send Christmas cards to my own family. You know what I'm saying? I don't send stuff. I, I it's just, guys, I said this before and I'll continue to say it again. I don't know what to get people I suck at figuring stuff out anyway this comes from Calvin's Corner 72 guys really good really good guy if you have not checked out Calvin's Corner 72 you need to he's he's a he's a superb youtuber a really nice guy down to earth he does football contests during the football season I didn't actually college football I didn't participate this year I kind of feel bad but to be perfectly honest with you, I've just been out of the uh, the football, the whole football thing all year long, guys. It's just, it's, you know, the thing is, is when you start taking an anti-American uh, stance on stuff, and even a lot of colleges lately have been really kind of taking an anti-American -sta anti stance on things, it's really, really, really hard for me to support um, anything, anybody, any, any institute, anything that's not that's not pro-American. It's just, it's it's almost impossible for me to, to do. But anyway, this comes from Calvin's Corner 72. Again, he does the college football thing. He does he does deer hunting. He does a lot of hunting with crossbow, guns. Um, he does a lot of, out, he, he does do some outdoor cooking. I know him and I, we've kind of gone back and forth. Um, I'm sure he's going to be doing more as, as, um, as am I. Anyway, he sent me a Christmas card. And on the inside it says, to you and yours and Uncle R. Unc R. Merry Christmas, brother. Go Trump. Yeah, buddy. Love your videos. Long and short. Friday Night 40s are awesome. Keep rocking it in Cheeseland. Ha! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Your pal, Calvin's Corner 72. P.S. Now finish off that shine. Oh, yeah. I got to do that. I really do. I got to do that. We haven't, I, I'm not a big hard alcohol drinker. But I'm I'm not. But I'll try to I'll try to remember to do a sip for you. Maybe next week's Friday Night Forty because we already recorded this week's. But anyway, there you guys go, right there. And he even put his little CC seventy two in the corner. There you go. And now this one here, I think I know what this is, and I, I'm going to tell you right now. Well, let's just open this up. This comes from Captain Jerk. Some of you guys are probably familiar with him. Some of you guys are probably not. Let me give you a little background while I try to open this package on, on Captain Jerk. Captain Jerk has an amazing talent, okay? Um, we all, everybody's got a little, everybody's got talent in one, one way or another, okay? I mean, I know, you know, you look at like 805 Road King and, and, and uh, what is that, Small Engine Mechanic Mike or something like that, you know, doing those, doing those engines. Just incredible work, okay? 
extremely talented. Shit I could never do. Shit I can only dream of doing. You got Texas Viking. He does some amazing welding. Shit I can only dream of doing. Um, you have you have you know the rusty glove boxes and, and I mean you got you got so many people out there with so many talents. Okay, and a lot of those are in the garage. This guy works out of his apartment and he makes some of the best coin rings. He takes a coin and turns it into a ring. And he doesn't just turn it into a ring. He turns it into a masterpiece, okay? It doesn't even, like, you, I don't even know where to start with this guy. Because, like, that's just absolutely incredible. Okay, and then we open up this side here. Uh oh, did I fucking rip something? Sorry guys, this, I know this is going to be a long video, I know this is going to be a really long video, but I have to give shouts where shouts are due. I have to give shouts where shouts are due. This guy, absolutely fucking incredible. Well let's get into this first. Hey Matt, here's that ring, I hope it fits, lol. You're a great friend. Thanks for the shouts. Have fun in December. I'm not having fun, dude. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. December's not not fun. Captain Jerk. Okay. Captain Jerk. He sent me a pin. This is cool. This is really cool. It's it's an authentic pin. You can wear it, and I will wear it if I can get it on. Let's see if I can get it on. Let's see if I can get it on for the remainder of this video, and I'll try to fucking put it on. There we go. I'm officially wearing Captain Jerk's pin. Anyway, he also sent me this ring. I hope it fits too. And I'm going to tell you something. You know what? Where did I put this knife away? Let's just get this shit open. Let's get it open the right way. We're not messing around. If it doesn't fit, I'll make it fit. I'll just lose weight. That's all there is to it. Holy shit, man. This is incredible. First of all, let's see if it fits. It does. It does. Okay. That's fucking absolutely incredible. Now, you have to stop and realize, this was at one point in time a coin. I don't know what kind of coin it was because... I've watched so many of his videos, and I think he might have made this for somebody else. And it's it's gone to me now. But you got to remember, keep in mind, this was out of a coin. Look at this thing. I don't know if my camera is doing it justice. It's not. It's not. Let's see if I can move them. Look at the detail on the inside of there. I mean, this... I'm trying to look at the viewfinder. Sorry, guys, not trying to not look at you guys, but just, and look at the hammered look. I love that hammered look, and look at how it's it's rounded. He and look at that fits me like a glove, like a glove fits me. That is freaking awesome. Comes on off easily. Perfect, dude. Perfect. Now I'm going to tell you something, Justin. I'm not letting you just give me this ring, okay? I'm going to have to coordinate with you, and I'm going to have to get your PayPal address because I'm not going to let you. you the, the work you do is far too good, and it's, 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 you, you sh there's no way on God's green earth you should just be handing these out, period. Okay, I still have the copper one you got me, and I understand that was a gift type of deal. This one here, you can claim it as a gift. I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you get away with 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 that. Just just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, so we're gonna have to coordinate. I'm gonna have to get with you and get your PayPal. And when I get when I get some money, you're gonna get paid for this ring because I know what kind of work you do. This is incredible, guys. Go check out Captain Jerk. He does some cooking videos. He does uh, he does very seldom does he do like walking around type type videos. Most of his videos are coin ring videos. Okay, you have to go check them out. 
awesome guy. This is an awesome fucking ring. I don't think I'm ever going to take it off. It's like a new wedding ring. Look, I mean, <laughs> here's my wedding ring. Here's Captain Jerk's ring. Damn! I should just have him make me and my wife some new rings. <laughs> oh, But anyway, guys, so there's the mail call. Like I said, I know this is a long video. My apologies in advance. Um, I am going to, I do, I also have to reiterate that I'm going to have, not reiterate because I haven't even said it yet. That's stupid, man. Anyway, I got two videos coming up, two, two video responses coming up also this weekend, guys. I don't mean to blow up your subscription box, okay? Um, I have, uh, I got a VR for Mr. Mach 12004, and I have a VR for Papa Texas coming up. I don't know if I'm going to upload those both on one in one day or if I'm going to upload them two separate days. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. If we get that snow this week and I get out and can do some plowing and stuff like that, I might make a better video of plowing. We shall see. I don't know. I might not even turn the camera on. I might just get the fucking plowing done. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, guys. To all my friends out there, to all my to to every single one of you guys who watch this video, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos. The best Christmas present you can get me is just keep watching my videos. I don't need cards. I don't need. I don't need. I don't need anything. I don't need anything. I don't. I, I really don't want anything. You know what I'm saying? I, I really don't. Because I can never repay you guys back. I have, a, I have a really good friend down here who sent me some really cool stuff that I can't really put on YouTube. And he knows who he is. And I can never repay him. I just, I just can't. And then you got also, like, Bill Gowdy. I, 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 how am I supposed to repay Bill Gowdy? You know, people, these people have everything. I don't, you know, I, I don't know what to get people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what to get people. You know, and, and, and I don't want to, I don't like to get stuff and then it's like, ew, well, fuck, that wasn't even, why even bother giving me anything? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. All right, you guys, I'm going to conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Be safe out there in all this global warming. If you're in a global warming climate, such as me, be, oh, my Captain Jerk pin. If you're in a global warming such uh, region, such as I am, be safe out there, guys, because it's dangerous. This global warming shit is incredibly dangerous. I'm just saying. So, thanks for watching. Links to all four channels are going to be below. Go check them out, guys. I really do appreciate you guys watching, and as always, peace. Well, there you go, guys. Look at all that global warming floating down the river. Man, that's a lot of global warming, huh? Son of a bitch. Yeah. We got ice forming on the river already. That river's pretty high, too. Look across there. You can see the stages. It's pretty high. Pretty high. But yeah, we got ourselves some global warming floating down the river here. Ladies and gentlemen, global warming. I'll tell you what contributes to my global warming. Ah, a nice hot coffee cuppy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Don't get much better than that. Let's throw this lid on here. All right. Let's go out to the garage before we make our way out there, guys. Yeah, you can see. A lot of that snow melted. Not no more. Ooh, it's cold out here. Let's get in here. Ah. Ah. Now that's real global warming right there. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, let me get this turned off here and we'll get to making a video. Alrighty, guys, before we go any further, I just want to state this is going to be a longer video than usual. I have a lot of really cool stuff. I got some mail calls and shout outs that I want to do. So, um, it's going to be a little bit longer than normal. Uh, I'll try to keep it brief for you guys, but you know what? Sometimes when you get really cool stuff, you want to give really cool shout-outs. So, anyway, before we get into that, guys, uh, let me just update you guys here really quick on the weather uh, around here. This weekend, they're calling for snow. They don't know how much. Uh, some reports I've heard up to 16 inches of snow. 
But though, don't, don't, if you, Keith, Rooney, don't, don't listen to me just yet because I, nothing's been confirmed. Uh, but we're definitely going to be getting some snow. I've also heard as little as three to six inches. So we'll see what happens. It's also.